Welcome to another episode of Arnie's Creative Flow. I'm Hubert Border, your coach and mentor for this lesson on how to flow with disarms if they don't work. This is Ewan Jenkins. You guys must know him by now as your good friend that you might want to use his backyard just for some nice hot glass of lemonade. On these beautiful days, I'm wearing my Ray-Bans to obviously, these are my action Ray-Bans. I'm not affiliated with them, but if I was Ray-Ban, it's Hubert Border at Arnie's Creative Flow. This is Ewan Jenkins with his cool glasses that he's had since 1977, what are they called? Varnays. Varnays. He hasn't sat on them, he hasn't lost them, he hasn't re replaced anything on them. These are the originals, incredible. So for this lesson, as I said, we're gonna get into what if the disarm doesn't work? Well, this is the perfect reason why we flow in our niece or Filipino martial arts, why we do all these things that you see us twirling in the air. It's to create a flow so that it doesn't get interrupted, even if it gets interrupted. Meaning that if Ewan hits me with an angle whatever, and I go wham, there's a, there's, there is the interruption here. He's coming, I meet it, but I pass it, and I attack that cool watch on his hand, and I keep flowing, and if he just keeps hit, attacking, which you've seen me do a million times, I get out of the way, and I keep attacking, and I don't let the flow stop at all, okay? I don't let it stop, bam. That is the idea of flowing. Sometimes when we go in to do a disarm, which is more of a medium range technique, you have to get into harm's way that I've done with single bust stone or doubly bust stone. You see that you have to get into harm's way. It's a medium corto range or medium close range. Remember, that stick has come flying through, so you have to deal with it. It's to be simple, effective, and direct. Be out of the way as much as possible. So right now, in this space, Ewan keeps attacking. I'm, I'm attacking him. I feel him coming. I get out of the way, and now I move, and then boom, I'm attacking. He, I'm blocking and I'm attacking. So see, as you can see, right now, I'm out of the way. I was out of the way before he readjusted. That puts me into an advantage position. He keeps going, I'm, I'm, I'm getting out of the way, I'm blocking, I'm attacking, and I'm getting out of the way, and I'm moving, I'm moving around. You have to move. You cannot stay static when this person's attacking. You can't, but you can try. But if I just stay here dealing with everything, I'm in the way. <laughs> I'm getting attacked. I really have to, holy cow. And then I lose control of, of this combat situation. Be out of the way. Be simple, direct, and effective. He comes in, wham, that's effective. That's effective. Effective there, boom. And I'm just attacking. And I'm out of the way. Now let's get into the disarm. As soon as I get in, go. I attack. Keep going. I, wanna, I want this to be as natural as possible. Boom. In the point. I don't want it to be contrived. There. So he, I snake him. For whatever reason, he pulls it out this way. Then I have to be able to transition into another disarm. Okay, that becomes leverage. Now I have his stick and I can tack with double stick. So if a disarm doesn't work, you have to flow into another disarm. Sorry, defending the stick would be destroying this at first. That doesn't work. I come in, I go for the disarm, he takes it out. I go and I transition with that. And then I attack breaking down the house. I attack all the limbs, the key points. He comes in, immediately I go for the disarm. He pulls it out. I go, oh, he, he, I didn't get that, so I go to this one. There's my disarm. I, did, I didn't get that. I go for another one, and I attack. So as you can see, just in that last piece, the very last piece, I did three different disarms. The first two didn't work. It wasn't because my technique was ineffective. It's because sometimes the human body does weird movements. It does different things that you're not ready for. So your technique has to be sharp, simple, direct, and effective. It has to be able to work. Number one, he comes in. Out of the way. I know I can get him. I know I can get him. I, I can't get hit. I gotta get in the frame. Boom, I move around. I, I move, I move, I control. See how I'm controlling? Boom, boom, attack, attack. I'm blocking, wing block. Here's a disarm. And then I follow up. Bam, 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 bam. As you can see, within the space I'm working, I'm still making it work. So for this lesson, when it came to what do you do when a disarm doesn't work, you flow to another disarm. And if that disarm doesn't work, and they pull right out of your disarms, then you go back to long range to put, make yourself safe. If they come charging in, he comes charging in, I get away, and I control, and I switch position. I want to move to the back. If he pulls that out, then I have to go back here so that I'm at least safe again. And I can attack. I can attack his limbs. I really get out of the way, boom. The idea is to be out of the way first, try a disarm that doesn't work, flow into another disarm, flow into another disarm if it doesn't work. If they pull out, go to a safe range, move around, put yourself into an advantage position. Don't be the hero, because you know you will wind up the zero.
You will always get hit. The idea is to minimize being hit. I'm Hubert Porter for another lesson of our Nice Creative Flow. I hope you liked what I'm doing. Hit subscribe, give me a thumbs up, ask a question. I will answer the best I can. Leave a comment. Thanks again, Ewan, for being here and helping with this lesson. Hope you got something out of it. See you on the next one.